children that rode on the orphan trains would have been considered independent when they became the age of 18. And the Children's Aid Society did not follow a formal indenture, but the results were the same. The New York Foundling Hospital, on the other hand, um, had a formal indenture. And the results were that the prospective parent was to clothe, educate, and provide for them financially until the age of 18, and then they were on their own. Uh, my mother uh, left as soon as she turned 18 um, to seek employment further away, and that was just the best case scenario for her. But um, some of the children, even before the age of 18, if they felt that the home was not a good home for them, uh, they, they would have taken off and found their way back to New York City. I often think of a boy uh, who ended up in uh, the state of Minnesota where a farmer had picked him off the orphan train and this boy was chosen basically for hard labor and this child's days fell into nights and his nights fell into days and eventually um, this child became totally exhausted. So the farmer decided the child to be useless and he asked the neighbor if he would trade this child for a pig. Imagine a child actually being tra traded or swapped out for a farm animal. But um, it was divine intervention because the child ended up with a very happy, healthy home. So it, it all d depended on um, their situation, but 18 was the magic age um, then as it is now.